Let me uh, just uh, qualify the increase right away. There, uh, it overstates the case. Uh, uh, for a couple of technical reasons, uh, job growth is very likely uh, to come in much lower than the 275. It's probably going to come in pretty close to the consensus estimate of somewhere between 175 and 200. Um, and that would be consistent with slowing job growth. So if you go back last year, job growth on average was 225,000 per month. So far this year, it's been about 180,000. So this would be very consistent with that. So job growth is still strong, but it is uh, definitively slowing. And it is consistent with a broad slowing in the economy. The economy's growth rate has slowed meaningfully from last year's 2.9% uh, growth rate. So, but, but, but just to put a fi finer point on, on, on this, when the numbers come in, we, sh we shouldn't look at this as an indicator of, of what the numbers are going to be? No, this, this number overstates the case. So the ADP number, the ADP estimate of the BLS number on Friday is an estimate. Right. based on the companies we get with over 20 million employees. So it's, it's a very good estimate, but it, it is affected by not only the ADP number, but other economic data. And if you look at the uh, way this number is put together, what I'm saying to you is that the 275 is overstating the case. Job growth, in all I, I don't know for sure, obviously. I mean, the BLS number goes up and down and all around. But uh, my sense is that on Friday, we're going to get a jobs number that is pretty close to the consensus view, which is, you know, Mark, I think, as you pointed out, was somewhere between Mark, 175 and 200. Steve, jump in. I, I'm really surprised to hear you expressing your own doubts on your own number, which is designed or at least mark, sort of uh, sold as being something that does a good job. And I, I know uh, a lot of people think it does a good job of predicting payroll. So I'm kind of surprised you're uh, – is there some particular – technical aspect without spending three minutes to get into the weed series or some reason to discount this month but I mean uh, it, it you actually have done a pretty good job on some of these blowout numbers not actually predicting yeah. the actual BLS number but pointing the street to an upside surprise in the BLS number yeah exactly and I want to, and I want to continue that good record Steve and that's why I'm qualifying this and let me just say two things about uh, the number first is the ADP number. So we take the ADP number plus other economic data and come up with an estimate with the BLS number. That's the methodology right. that but we Mark, use. Mark, I'm going to you know, cut well you off. Don't, don't, don't go in the weeds here. Tell me, is this number different from other numbers or is this the same number? Uh, is there something quirky this month about it or not? Yeah, there's something quirky about it this month. Yeah, it, it's the same methodology, same number. We're, we're not changing anything. It's just, we're doing exactly what we've always been doing. But, but there's uh, some technical issues with the data that suggest that All the right. number is not 275. Okay, okay. so here's, uh, guys, I, I just want to make sure we, make, we get the big picture here. The data has turned yeah. to be, it's been quite a bit better. The idea of a recession predicted by the market in December is, is not coming to pass. Even if you discount that 3.2% GDP report in the first quarter, the recent data, the March Correct. data, has been stronger. The jobs data has been stronger. Yes. And honestly, Joe's notion here that, that, that not just you, Mark, but almost the entire economics community has been on, which is that we're going to run out of workers, that job growth will slow back down towards trend, which is 100,000, has not come to pass. And there's yeah. a lot of reason no, to rethink, that's... A, the outlook of the economy, B, the strength of the labor market, and how long it continue. Wrong. Just totally wrong. That's just incorrect. The, uh, the, the outlook is on track. So growth was very strong last year. Economists consistently, including myself, have said it's going to slow this year, and it is slowing. Now, you know, month to month, quarter to quarter, you're going to get ups and downs and all arounds, that's right. and that's what we've been getting. Big, by the way, big ups and downs and all arounds for lots of different reasons. But the trend is for slower growth, and the uh, we are going to go back to trend. Uh, it, you know, we, we had this bet a, a couple, three months ago. We're, I still hold to the bet when we're here sitting a year from now, job growth will be closer to 100 K, which is trend than 200 K, because for lots one one way or the other, because we're running out of workers and we're up to full capacity, job growth is going to slow back to trend. Yes. Good, so that good, nothing has changed. And, the good and, 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 by the way, Mark, if you Mark, gonna, the, Mark, the good of slower job growth never comes. 
it, it is coming. It is here. It's a, we're, we're, it is happening. So job growth right. is slow. Well, I'm changing my opinions yeah. here, and I, I changed them last year when it kept coming in strong. Yeah. I, th I think there's something going on here. Well, uh, well, and, and I actually seem to I feel a little bit a bit better about your numbers than you feel about your own numbers. Well, here, here, Steve. Look, last year. It was, it's no surprise that things got used up, right? If you go out and borrow hundreds of billions of dollars, which is what the Treasury did, and you cut everybody a check, right. it, it, you know, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure right. out it's going to juice right. things that, up. So that's what that's happened. That's fine. And that's a good explanation, Mark. But, we, but the, 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 the script was that that uh, 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 stimulus would wear off. And we are now talking yep. about the fourth month of the year, not the first month or the second month. We're in the fourth month yep. of the year, and it hasn't right. worn off. And the, the forecast that, you know, we no, you, and has. I, you and I put the rapid update together, Mark, and we're still looking at, you know, two and a half plus percent forecast for the second quarter. That said, we'll get our first actual tracking of the second quarter here uh, uh, today, I think it is, or tomorrow. But those numbers have been plus two, so I'm not seeing a whole lot of meaningful slowing here right now. Okay. Well, no, no. Everybody's, you know, the forecast uh, expectations a year ago is we would grow about three percent in 2018, and we would grow somewhere between two and two and a half percent in 2019. Those forecasts have not changed, and we are on script. So, stay tuned. Uh, the job okay. growth is slowing. Uh, economic growth is slowing.